Simply Sonora. Hey everyone. Oh, wait. <laughs> What's happening back here? Okay, wait. Anybody? Nobody. Hey everyone. <laughs> Okay, anyway, okay, my hair looks crazy. Ignore that part. Okay, this is from the hair CD I did for the Actors Fund, and yet again, don't go in a state of shock and go, what is that CD? Where can I get it? Or, doesn't Gavin sing that song in the show? Okay, cut. There was a concert of hair that I did in 2005 for the Actors Fund where a lot of different, essentially every song was sung by a different person. Now, let's move on. So, um, it was very random. Like, it, sometimes it was a totally different sex, as this one is. So it's the song, Where Do I Go? But Julia Murney sang it. We kind of kept the story linear, and it was almost like, she was representing what was going on. Like every kind of like the singers were representing what was going on in the actors' heads. It was it was um it was bizarre, but it was also amazing. Anyway, this is the close of Act One. This is Julia Murney singing "Where Do I Go." So many phenomenal things to talk about. It's just it's it's just very musical how she sings it. Just amazing phrasing and amazing placement and amazing acting and phenomenal backup singers. Okay, here we go. Listen. Sorry, let me just begin by saying, listen to her great placement at the end of the phrase, because it's right in a break. It's like a C-sharp B, and it's just so hard to not either totally belt it or do it in head voice. She just finds this perfect blend. Here we go. Okay. Where do I go? Follow the river. placement because you don't hear any any change of placement you don't hear like chest to head it's just literally one voice Listen. where is the someone that tells me why i live and die where do i go follow the children where do i go follow their smiles is there an answer and you know i love her hard r's she hauls it out 90% of the time in this. Here, listen. Follow their smiles. Right there. Follow their smiles. But then she goes, is there? Then she does a normal R. But then after that, it's all hard R's. Here we go. Where do I go? Follow their smiles. And then it's no R. Is there an answer? Here we go. In their sweet faces that tells me why I live and die. Place that nice little riff on gutter. Hold on, very fluid. Sorry, I like that too. I love how um, the inflection of the voice represents the word. So it's up to. Do you hear the up? The trumpet comes in, listen. City where the truth yeah. lies, where do I go? Follow nice. the children, where do I go? Follow Now what I love is that it's essentially kind of unison singing, but Julia does just enough back phrasing to be like, I'm singing with you, but I'm still the soloist. It's, a, it's like very do pop your head, Cassie. Because it's like, I am singing the same thing, but I stick out just enough, but I'm not overdoing it either. The city where the truth lies. Where do I go? Follow the children. Where do I go? Follow their smiles. Is there an answer in their sweet faces that tells me? Now, by the way, she's like, and now I'm going to show you my full sassafras. She starts belting. Here we go. Is there an answer in their sweet faces that tells me why? Top, I think that's Lucia. Lucia, who was in the Godspell, original Godspell in the year 2000. Yeah, she has a great vibrato. Listen to her in the back of Harmony. Hold on. Okay, now, 
Julia adds this great riff. Instead of down to the gutter, she does it up. She not only scoops the up, but she goes all the way up to the word up. Here we go. Is much more dramatic. repetitive and we came up with just enough ways to keep it different and interesting but not change the melody too much and not over riff listen The, the, the little changes, and then she ends in an amazing D while Lucia is belting. I mean, the whole ensemble is phenomenal. Would you hear Lucia's voice sticking out on the B right underneath her? Here we go. <laughs> So exciting. Bye-bye.